Hello everyone, it is Petra here with Petra's Creative Plans. And so today we are going to be working on doing my November monthly setup in my catch-all big vertical planner. So stay tuned. All right guys, let's jump right in. So today um, I have a few of these stickers left in my seasonal type teacher book that I might incorporate and that's these little mushrooms, leaves and pumpkins. Um, I have here just some little icons that I've pulled out that I'll need for my monthly spread for some birthdays, paydays, um, appointment reminders, that sort of thing. And I just took these out of mainly the essential planning as well as I have a clear icon sticker book by Recoll Recollections. And I have made some little fall gnome and some monthly sized box stickers for what I want for the month of November. I have a title page with the year, or sorry, not a title, but a, a monthly title. And the year that I've made out of some vinyl. So it's like a bronze vinyl, brushed vinyl look. And then I've also made some fall leaf stickers. And then I've got my list of important days to remember. All right, let's jump right in. We'll pull these pages out. And I will set my planner to the side. All right. So we are going to start off with whiting out the November and the 2021. Okay, so I've got that done. I want to bring in my big November a vinyl sticker that I made here. Now normally with vinyl like this, um, you would use transfer tape or transfer paper to move it over but I don't want that transfer paper to stick to my planner page. So that's why I'm not doing it that way. So it can be a little bit fussy to work with um, when you're doing it like this, but usually you can get it all right. It just takes a little bit of fiddling with and you can kind of get the hang of it. By the time you're done, you've gotten all your letters done and it works pretty good. So what I like to do is I like to pick one part of the letter and get that placed exactly where I want it. Typically it's the bottom of the letter and then the rest of it will kind of flatten out from there. Also depending on the font you use and the intricacy of the design of the letters, will affect how hard or easy they are to put down. So again, I'm going to start, I'll just get the bottom where I want it and I'll lay that down. And then I will just kind of let the rest of it fall into place and smooth it out. Okay, so I'm going to stop and I'm just going to take my white signal gel pen and I'm going to take out these lines here and then I will put these numbers down. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, so I've got that done. I'm happy with how, how that looks. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my monthly box stickers. Um, so I've got one here that I've made that has the little cross on the poppy in it, and this is going to go on November 11th for Remembrance Day. All right. And then I've got three birthdays here. So I have a birthday on the 8th. That is my brother-in-law's birthday. I have a birthday on the 15th. to mark down and my dad's birthday is on the 16th so we'll mark that off didn't quite cut through this one let's just give that a helping hand Okay, so then I've got on the seventh. Two things on the seventh here. The eighth, there is a birthday, but I have another thing on the eighth, so I'm going to put another. How do I do this? Let's see. I'll put another box in down there. The ninth. I don't like the way that one went down. One moment. Let's see if we can. Okay, the ninth. That's a gonna be a busy little week there. It looks like. The eleventh. I have a second thing for the 11th as well, so I'm just going to do this box over like that. Seventeen. Okay, and then we've got one more here. Okay, so I've got those in there and now I want to pull in these trackers here let's start with these birthdays okay so we have one birthday here
Okay. Let's move the payment trackers in. Got my mortgage payment on the 5th. There. This one has to go here, and that one will go there. Okay, and then payday here. Husband's payday goes there. Payday there. And there. Okay, and then we have one car payment that comes out there. One car payment that comes out there. I get a day off here. Um, there's an appointment here. There's also an appointment here. Need one more reminder sticker. This is the recollections book I was talking about that has all these clear trackers in it. Here are the reminders. Okay, so I just went ahead and took those trackers off of the wax paper and stuck them on my hand just because the wax paper can be a bit noisy. All right. And then my grocery shopping I typically do on Sunday mornings. I like it better than going on other days because it's nice and quiet and there's not so many people in the grocery stores. Saturday is typically when I do my laundry and housekeeping, house cleaning, all that kind of stuff. I do need one more grocery store one. Let's see. There we go. Pulled out a couple of these meeting stickers because I want to put these on here. Okay, so I've got those items down. So let's bring in some of these little cute gnomes. 
So I made these stickers um, using a program called Canva as well as my Cricut um, Design Space. If you guys are interested in seeing how I make these, just leave me a comment down below and I can uh, look at making a video about how I make my own stickers. All right. And I've got some of these little fall leaves here. I think I'd like to pull some of these down and around as well. So I've got this like little swirly wind thing that we could maybe utilize a little bit. Mm. I'm not sure if I like it there. I do kind of like these kind of blowing through some of these days where I don't have much going on. And the nice thing is, is that I can always come and put can always come and put another box sticker over top if I need to. And I've got just these different leaves here as well that we can pull some of these out, stick them around, cover up where that where I had to white out the month and the day. Okay, let's bring some of these little gnomes in here. I like this one right here. And I'm thinking I might even stick her kind of in here. I'll give her some leaves to be standing in. Like that. Um, okay, and I've got this one here. I think I want to kind of put them up here. I am going to fold that leaf up because I'm going to put some of these other leaves underneath. But I don't want to cover that big one up that he's got with him. I like that one. I do not, however, want to cover the 19 on that date, so I'm going to cut. 
I'm gonna cut this little bit off here. Hopefully I can peel it up without ruining my date. There we go. Like that. That guy can be there. Let's see. I like these little gnomes. I think they're just adorable. Okay, this little one. I think I'd like to have this one here. And I really like this one and this one there's not that much room here for the leaves so this guy's not going to have the leaves to stand on but that's okay. Got two more of these guys. Got just a little one here. I'm going to cover up where it says Thanksgiving because I live in Canada. We've already had our Thanksgiving. down there. And we've got one left. Where should I put this little guy? Maybe over here? And this one can have those leaves going off the edge. So then I've just got a few more of these kind of glowing leaves that we can scatter around. Um, I might put some, let's see if I can get this to work for me. So I kind of want to fill up some of this space too, so I'll put one like that. And I feel like I want one on this side because I have one here. I just have to decide where I want to put it. That might be getting a bit... Oh, yeah, let's do it right here. Like I said, if I have things that pop up, I can always uh, put in a box sticker. I have some more of these little box stickers that I made for this spread, so I have extras. So we can always do that. Move this one down here. So I have that one there, so I don't really want to do the same thing. This one can be coming up from behind that guy. And just a few more little odd and then leaves so we can spread around Alright guys, so sorry if I was a little bit quieter in this video. Like I said, it's early in the morning. I'm just kind of relaxing and enjoying doing this. 
Um, so we're not the most talkative this morning. I apologize for that, but I hope you enjoyed this spread. Let's just trim off these extra bits here and then we'll pop this one back on the discs because I think that is a finished spread. I did order um, some more sticker paper of the one that I really like. I had run out, so I've been using this printable vinyl, which is okay, but it's not the easiest to work with. Um, and that should be arriving today, so I'm excited for that. Um, I ordered that on Amazon, and I really like it, so maybe I'll do a review of that sticker paper. Okay, let's pop this back on the discs. And there we go. With that, we have my completed um, November monthly spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for joining me. And as always, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like and save button or like and subscribe button. I will also post a link to some of my other playlists with my plan with me videos and so forth. You guys can go ahead and check those out. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.